Just want to know how the uh, trip to Southern California has been and being back um, at Rose Bowl Stadium in the same year, uh, kind of what are the expectations going into this year's game? Who do you, who do you want to start? I would, like, I would like you to start, please. Uh, obviously, it, it's exciting to be here. Um, playing in the Rose Bowl, we got, the, we got to make the trip to Los Angeles and playing the BCS championship game last year, but it wasn't the quote unquote Rose Bowl. So getting to experience this has been great. Uh, uh, we're, we're enjoying the, the time, we're enjoying the weather, but obviously we're out here to play football. And um, we're trying to tr enjoy ourselves, but we're trying to treat it as much like a business trip as we can. Uh, sometimes that's easier said than done with bowl games, but uh, th this, this group's been pretty focused on the task at hand, and uh, obviously you don't win 27 games in a row not doing that. So uh, we're, we're excited to be here, but we're also excited to play. Coach Sanders? Just like uh, Coach Sanders said, you know, and, you know, it's good to be back out in California in the, the BCS playoff system the first year of it. You know, we're excited about it. The family get a chance to come out and relax, bring your family out, let them have a chance to go to Disneyland yesterday and do some things. So it's been a fun time out. And now it's, you know, it's time to start getting focused on the game. You know, we're just excited and glad to be here. Yeah, it's the best one to be here. Uh, and actually, to play in the Rose Bowl again. And actually playing the, the actual Rose Bowl game uh, instead of the national championship is a fun experience. And uh, we just like to thank the Rose Bowl people for allowing us to come back. And uh, we're looking forward to the game. Um, the trip has been exciting, being able to be around your teammates. And uh, everybody has the same focus. Um, everybody just get, be able to relax and have, have some time away from uh, being back home in Tallahassee or being back home back where you're from. Just be able to experience something new and see the sights around here and first time going to Disneyland and being from our uh, Davenport close to Orlando, go to Disney World all the time. So be able to see the different parks and just uh, be able to bond with your teammates uh, on a different level. So uh, it's just been exciting. And uh, like Coach has said and Jamie said, it's just time to focus and lock it on the football game. Okay, we'll open up the floor for questions. Please raise your hand and we will have two mic runners on the side of the room. So we'll start in the back there. LaneHurtSeminoles.com. Uh, Carlos, can you talk a little bit about uh, Oregon's defensive line and what you've seen from, from them when you, when you start breaking down the film? Um, they're, very, very, they're very, very athletic, uh, very long guys, uh, use their hands, play with their feet very, very well, um, take on blocks very well, be able to shed blocks and make plays, um, keeping, uh, keeping containment on the edge. Uh, the nose guard is very active, a very low-centered uh, guy, can play with his hands and stays low to the ground. Um, they're very fast and athletic, just like much of our defensive line. You know, we have guys like Mario, uh, I believe number 96, number 91 is their defense, and he's very active, makes plays all the time. And every time we turn the film, he's going after the ball and chasing the ball down, and, and stays very, very active. So we're going to uh, have a challenge ahead of us, but we're going to step up to that challenge, and uh, we're preparing for it each day. Stephen Stevenson, Fort Worth Star-Telegram. This is for both coaches. How does having uh, this new um, playoff change the way you deal with a game like this? It's not really a, a normal bowl game. Uh, is, has it altered the way you guys set up your, your week? No, uh, I don't think it's changed anything necessarily. You know, it, um, it's different having to play two games to win the championship as opposed to one. You know, it's strange when you win 13 games and you've won your conference championship, but you haven't achieved anything nationally yet. And, uh, you know, we, we've approached each game this year as, this, as if it was the biggest game of the season. We'll approach this one as if it's the biggest game because it's the next one. And if we're fortunate enough to win and get on to the, to, the, to the final game in Dallas, then that will be the biggest game of the season. But um, other than changing a little bit around Christmas with my wife and daughters, it hasn't changed a whole lot else in the way we've prepared. And I, I, I agree with Randy. You know, we, we take it just like it's a, another game. You know, we don't um, look at it as being bigger than, than any other, other game. But the main thing is just the next game. And we just have to go out and prepare like we've been preparing, preparing for each game every week is um, just being the next game. Jordan Ken, Comcast Sportsnet. Jameis, you've been asked this question a ton, probably won't be the last time, but what can you say about Mariota as a player and then as a competitor? What does it mean? Is there any added excitement to go head to head against a Heisman Trophy winner in this type of game? Mario or Marcus? Mariota. Oh, Mariota. Oh, uh, I mean, I think 
I think he's just an amazing guy and an amazing player. And uh, to have the opportunity to just sit on the sideline and actually watch him, you know, personally, will uh, be a great experience for all of us, actually, uh, especially us down there in Tallahassee. Ain't never got a chance to play against him. So, uh, but I, like I always say, I think it's going to be a, a great battle between the two teams, you know, because uh, as me, uh, I don't think we'll be where we at without our, our team. And uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great game, you know, and it's gonna be a once in a lifetime opportunity to get a chance to see a guy as efficient as as talented as he is on the field. Jake Zivin, KZI, and Eugene. First for Jameis and, and the coordinators, you guys could chime in as well. Oregon's All American cornerback Ifo Ekperolamu is not gonna play in this game. Do you? want to then test the new starter who's going to be relatively inexperienced early. How do you handle a situation like this in your approach to this game? Well, um, I said it a lot of times, and I don't mean to come out as arrogant, but we don't discriminate, honestly. So even if he was on the field, we was going to be looking forward to, to playing him. You know, so uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be a football game. You know, things happen in football games, things happen at football practice. But uh, like I said, it's it's a team thing. You know, it's not just attacking one one player or you know picking on somebody. You know, we see some matchups. I mean, you know, because I believe we got the best wide receiver in the country, and Rashad Green, and the best tight end, and Nick O'Leary, and uh, I believe our other guys are pretty good too. So uh, we don't fear nobody. You know, Richard Sherman wanted to get out there and line up against us. We wouldn't throw away from him either. Personally, I'm glad we're not playing Richard Sherman. <laughs> um, <laughs> First of all, I hate it for the young man. You know, he, he was an outstanding football player. Uh, you know, injuries are part of the game. It's an unfortunate part of the game. And you hate to see it happen to anyone, uh, period. But especially someone of his stature, what he had achieved uh, to get to this point in the season and, and have it happen in practice, you, it, it's really heartbreaking. Um, but at the same time, him not being there, uh, no question will d diminish a little bit of their defense, but it's not like the player they're putting in behind him is not good. You know, Oregon doesn't get to, you don't get to a position to play in a game like this without having good players. And they got more than one, you know. So we know whoever comes in will be a good player. Um, you know, that being said, we also believe if we do what we do well, then we'll be fine. You know, because the guys we go against in practice each day are pretty good too. And uh, I'm not saying they're as good as him or better or anything else. I don't mean that. But... Um, you know, it, it's more about us taking care of our business, our process, than it is necessarily who's on the other side. Coach Dazi, do you have anything to add to that? Hey, it was well said by these two young men. I can't, I can't say anything different. That's the first time I've been called a young man in a long time. <laughs> Appreciate that. Do we have any additional questions here? Up oh, in the back. Coach Dossi, what did you need to see from uh, Travis and Erman early in the season to prove that they could handle extensive reps? And at what point did you feel comfortable in, in giving those to them? Uh, consistency, you know, more than anything. Uh, and then getting, James getting confidence in them and then working with them guys for us, the time. And, and, and the main thing is just consistency and confidence. And as the season went on, probably halfway through the season, you, you start to see them really starting to pick up the system, starting to understand it and what we was, was demanding and, and expecting from them. And um, we, we're definitely pleased with how they have progressed throughout the season. We have a question up front. Uh, for for Jameis and, and the coaches, uh, Vicente Fernandez from Sports Mania's Oregon's averaging uh, just shy of 25 points a game in the first half. How important is it in this game to get off to a good start in the first half? Um, yep. Well, <clears throat> no matter who, t who we playing, it's always good to, to get into a good start in the first half. You know, that's one thing that we always talk about is, is uh, starting fast and, and finishing strong. So uh, it's definitely going to be important because uh, you know, they play fast, you know, and uh, they, their defense does a good job of keeping the ball in their hands. So uh, it's going to be a great matchup. 